Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, July 21st to the 22nd intuitive love tarot read. Uh, this is a new moon in Cancer reading as well. This energy will last for about up to six months. This is in your ninth house of uh, religion, of beliefs, of travel, higher learning, education. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you guys, Scorpio, and how this energy is going to affect you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Scorpio. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. Um, please don't forget to comment as well. I want to hear from you guys. I appreciate you. So, let's see. What's going on for Scorpio? If you're interested in a... Uh, personal reading info is at the in the description box below to my Etsy shop I'm gonna get a channeled message for you in just one moment I'm going to get some cards first what's going on for Scorpio in the next oh that's funny and the hermit comes out which is number nine right okay all right Scorpio we have the Five of Cups for you, the Queen of Wands, the Hermit, the Star, and Seven of Wands. See what's at the bottom of the deck for you. Ooh, Destiny, the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so let's see what Spirit has for you right now. Things left unsaid will weigh on you, Scorpio. You need to reveal what you're feeling. You need to express what you're feeling, they're saying. And I'm really feeling that in my heart space. So I feel whatever this is, it does have to do with love. They're saying, just take a chance and just say it. Okay, thank you. Which is interesting. So I have a video out that's a UFO video. I had a sighting yesterday in broad daylight. And I saw not one, not two, but ten little tiny UFOs right beside my truck that flew over it was an amazing experience so anyway one of the messages in that reading in the oracle reading was um to be the fool and to take chances especially in the upcoming months okay all right so let's see something is destined for you within the next six months scorpio here it is meant for you but there is divine timing at play right I feel, Scorpio, you're in your feels about a love relationship. You're really thinking about what your wishes are, what your hopes and dreams are. You're trying to heal from, and I don't even think it's just one relationship. I'm feeling you're trying to heal from love itself, really. So you're looking at love as a whole, which is interesting. And you're looking at it from different perspectives. You're looking mm, not so much, well, it's, it's, you're looking at love, but you're looking at your part in it, which is awesome, Scorpio. So bravo. The Hermit is a number nine, which I find very interesting because the, this new moon is in your ninth house. So you're really putting that philosophical spirit in, into this 
uh, reflection, okay? So you want to be confident in the direction that you're going towards love. Um, I do feel you still have walls up in relation to love, okay? So you may want to look at that. So can you tell me, Spirit, why the Seven of Wands is here? Okay. This could be in relation to a twin, but... For some of you, it could be quartz, but I'm feeling more you have this seven of wands up because you're still trying to judge. There's like judgment surrounding love and your wishes and desires towards love and how it is you want to proceed forward. So it's like, okay, well, let me look at everything. Um, if, if you see here, right, he wants to have that higher perspective and see everything because he doesn't want to miss anything. He doesn't want to be hurt like he was in the past. So he wants to make sure that his position is correct. And this is one of the things that you're looking at. It's like you're looking at your position. What position do you need to be in in order to uh, magnetize yourself to the love that you're seeking, right? And this is that balance. I do feel you are listening to your intuition. You could have Libra in your chart as well. Or you could be reflecting on a twin. It is a twin flame card. It doesn't have to be. I just like to tell people when I do get them out. In case it resonates. Okay. Why the five of cups? Yeah. So you're reflecting back on this five of cups, right? On, on, and I feel like these five of cups, it's like, it's like three specific relationships that you're looking at, right? And you're just saddened that you didn't get to manifest what you set out to manifest with these three relationships. So you're looking at why, like why didn't, you know, what was my part in this? because you're wanting to manifest something different. You're wanting to manifest your desires and you're wanting to be confident in that. Tell me about the star. Yeah, you're taking the blindfold off. You're seeing this for what it is, Libra energy again. You could have Libra in your chart or be thinking about a Libra. Nine of wands, <laughs> interesting. Another nine on top of the nine for the hermit and Sagittarius energy, and that is Sagittarius's house is the ninth house. That's funny. So there's that, it, it, see you're looking at this defense, the, the, this defense, this wall, okay? This is the wounded warrior. You're looking at why do I feel wounded? Should I feel wounded? You're asking the right questions. I really think you're on to something here, Scorpio. And I really think you're gonna illuminate a lot to yourself. Yeah, you're gonna look at why you're holding back. And you're wondering why you've been holding back this wish for so long and why you haven't sort of put yourself in a position um, to move towards this wish, right? You, you're looking at w what is, what is it in, your life that's blocking you what are you doing specifically that's blocking you or what are you thinking what are you feeling that's sort of blocking this energy which is awesome okay so advice yeah balance i think you know that stopping that struggle within that five of wands stopping that um competition you know from within life's not a competition it's a journey and coming out on the other side knowing exactly what you want right not only knowing it feeling it being confident in it and just moving towards it that's it moving towards it without question having faith in it having confidence in it and beginning to plant seeds 
and be and being patient for these seeds to grow okay wow all right scorpio you got a hell of a six months ahead of you that's cool a lot of growth within these six months scorpio definitely all right scorpio i hope that helps please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't if you're interested in a personal reading with me that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions right under the seven of pentacles is the ten of cups yep uh the information is in the description box below if you're interested in the uf the, the ufo um sighting video that is on my channel so check that out you have a great day scorpio and i'll talk to you tomorrow namaste